Good evening, everyone. Tonight's forecast brought to us by the Headless Horseman. It is Halloween, of course, and for the spooky trick or treat forecast, temperatures are running in the 40s, at least here in Portland. It's nice and quiet with cloudy skies running cool, though, for many towns. Let's step out of the way. We're running in the mid 40s along coastal areas. Brunswick right over my head here, running in the low 50s. Many towns are in the lower 40s the farther north you go, but we have a storm on the way, so for more on that, we're going to take this hood off here, and this actually isn't my head. This is a pumpkin that actually grew in my garden here, to your surprise perhaps. But let's start talking about a more serious part of the forecast. We actually have a storm on the way. Happy Halloween, everyone, by the way. Winter storm watch goes into effect Saturday evening right through Sunday night. This is for eastern parts of Maine and parts of northern Maine as well. I wouldn't be shocked to see even winter weather advisories in effect for a large portion of our area. I'm talking about southern and central Maine here. A chilly rain that arrives on Saturday for most of the region. I think the storm comes in two pieces. There'll be a lull in the action and another round arrives on Sunday. We'll probably see a change over to snow late Saturday night into the day on Sunday. And the winds will be at their strongest Saturday night and Sunday as well. We could see gusts 50, maybe even higher than 50 miles per hour from the Rockland area points east. It's going to become quite gusty as a strengthening storms here, here gets going over the weekend. All right, we have a trough of low pressure carved out by the jet stream, something like this along the eastern half of the United States. We have a batch of energy right out in here, and we have another one out in here. This is going to be the front runner. This is the one that's going to bring us some of the rain during the course of the day tomorrow. Here's our first batch of rain that arrives with this uh, area of low pressure, the weaker of the two for tomorrow. This is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. This is going to be the main player as it strengthens and moves by offshore. Still a lot of question marks in its exact track, but it should bring some very strong gusty winds and colder air changing rain over to snow. Eastern Maine stands the best chance for seeing many inches of snow out of this one. Farther west you go, it looks like it will be uh, a little bit quieter there. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're looking at clouds, a few showers developing. There will be a period of rain developing, especially along coastal areas during the afternoon on your Saturday. Note some of the snow developing in the mountains. Here's that lull I was talking about. We're going to see the colder air filter in by Sunday morning. Any leftover rain is transitioning over to snow. And notice some of the darker shades of blue right in here. Those indicate some moderate to uh, heavier bands of snow moving in. Temps are slightly above the freezing mark, though, so it might have a hard time accumulating. Again, still a lot of question marks on how this whole system is going to evolve, but we're getting a better idea of where we're going to see accumulating snow out of this. Looks like any leftover snow should end during the day on Sunday. Uh, according to two, that's my best estimate right now, areas in the darker blue, just some flakes melting on impact over southern zones. Uh, one to three inches from Augusta, points east of Waterville. The Bangor region could see two to five inches of snow and could see over a half a foot of snow. The farther east you go up into New Brunswick, portions of Washington County, you're involved in that as well, and also uh, portions of Aroostook County. Wind, the other big story with this one, gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour from Rockland points east. Uh, most of us running about 30 to 40 miles per hour with their heaviest or strongest winds probably during the morning hours on Sunday. There we go. Don't forget to change your clocks this weekend. It's really going to feel like winter Sunday with high struggling to get out of the 30s with snow. Any leftover southern coastal rain coming to an end. The big story will be the wind. Monday looks okay with brighter skies returning. Next chance for rain after that will be on Thursday. Again, an evolving storm system, so I want to keep everyone uh, updated as we head through the weekend. I'll have more updates coming up on Fox 23 at 10 and CBS 13 at 11. We'll see you then. Have a nice night.